What's up, squad? It's Trey, a.k.a. Daddy C. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Um, if it's your first time here, do me a quick favor. Hit that notification bell down below so you can stay on top of the content as we drop it. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Vibe with us, rock it with us. We appreciate all the support, all the conversations, all the comments here, IG and everywhere else. Um, thanks for rocking with us. All right, so today, y'all, first of all, hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. I know we just passed the holiday. You got some time to just kind of relax and release with family, have some good time, football, good food, all those things. Um, and now we're back to the sneaker drops, right? We had a quick pause for Thanksgiving Day. Um, and this week, man, has been a week, right? Sneakers has been kind of on fire with all kinds of just drama. Uh, the news cycle has been crazy. People have been airing, their, airing out their feelings and expressing themselves in all different directions regarding certain um scandal so to speak and um yeah man it's been it's been one and we've had drops this week um and i'm talking about the elephant in the room right we're talking about i'm on my year james whitner the whitaker group all the things that's been going on this week with them um and today i'm not talking about that situation again we're gonna see how that all plays out you know we'll talk about it you know more in, i guess in depth then um but aside from that we're talking about the drops and the drops we've been waiting for has been the Amma Monnier Air Jordan 5. Um, we just got this one in a couple days ago. This is the Dawn pair, um, fresh from the EQL raffle that everybody's been <laughs> up in arms about with the EQL fee. Kind of wild that EQL is charging us that, but you know, either those brands absorb it or they pass it on to us. It's five dollars, I think it's 63 cents for this one. So it is what it is, man. You want the shoe, get the shoe. If you don't want it, don't pay it. But anyway. The shoe is in. We're gonna talk about it today. The box itself is dope. It's just a, you know, it's a clean, basic, you know, Jordan 5 box in blue. You got the jump man on the sides there. And you've got that size tag. You see that there? This says Air Jordan, women's Air Jordan 5 Retro SP, Photon Dust and Black. So of course this was a women's exclusive release. But an extended size, this thankfully is what they usually do. Um, you've got this uh, embossed I'm on my year logo on the top of the box. You can see that. All right, so it's not a plain box. And of course, they always, you know, get into the details. Really love how they do the detailing with this box here. That's not, I don't think that's Michael Jordan. That's somebody's legs in a pair of Jordan 5s. Like, it's look like some OGs. Um, but these are a takeoff from. Um, but that's that. You got your Amma Monnier tissue paper that we've all become accustomed to. And then we can talk about the shoe. This is the Air Jordan Amma Monnier 5 in the Dawn colorway. All right, the Dawn. Now, I know we've all been calling this, you know, kind of the white pair. And it's crazy because I've watched multiple videos on this. I've seen tons of pictures. And it's not actually white, right? It's like a, a slight gray, slight off-white, gray color going on there. That's the left shoe, that's the right shoe. Just to give you that visual there as well. You get your extra laces. So you've got, I guess this is like the grayish color laces in the shoe. And they actually do come with a bright white and like a sale off-white kind of color. All right, so let's get into this shoe, man. I, you know, everybody's been looking forward to it. I know I have. I know a lot of people out there still are talking about they haven't received shipping information yet. And I guess, you know, with all that's going on, right, we just had the Dusk Pair drop yesterday online. Um, that was something because the Discord raffles, the W's didn't really get sent out in advance of that like they normally do. And it seems that those are more limited. I know the Dawn is on sneakers for release in another week or so. Um, but the Dusk supposedly is, I'm on my year exclusives, not gonna see sneakers uh, release. Now I did hit on those, so waiting on those to, to come in. Didn't get shipping yet for those, but hopefully real soon, real soon. All right, so back to the Dawn. Um, clean mesh, clean shoe. If y'all saw my, take my breakdown on the, uh, the Dusk pair, basically, we had an early look at a sample of that shoe that, um, buddy of mine got directly from James Whitner off of his feet. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. It was really dope to see. It was kind of a pre-production sample 
Um, that shoe actually had the little A, the little A button on the side that they put on the Jordan fours. Um, but everything else fairly stayed. Looks like you know, looks like it stayed the same. Um, this has the, instead of the j traditional netting cage on the side, it says the little A's on that. Um, you got that same A motif on the tongue area. So part of the way, the, the very beginning, this is like a, a satin down here at the bottom, and then this nylon has the A's up the rest of the tongue. And again, that tongue has been shortened, which is cool. Um, just making it more, I guess, you know, because that high tongue isn't the most comfortable and it's definitely not as puffy and padded. Same around the collars, right? This has all been taken down and slimmed down, kind of like they did on the, the uh, DJ collar pairs, um, just for more comfort and wearability. And then, of course, you got the blue on that shark teeth. You got the black around your midsole. And then the aged yellow outsole, which I do really, I really like that a lot. Um, you got that stitched on 23 in the back, which is dope. And that's in like a blue, like kind of royal navy blue with a black shadow effect on that. And you got that embroidered Nike Air on the back as well. So that's not rubbing off. This is dope. This is just a, a clean, clean approach to the shoe. Got your aged uh, lace but lace lock, right? And then on the tongue, so this is the Air Jordan underneath pair. And on the tongue, you've got the Amma Mayer logo, as well as on the back of the tongue, you've got Amma Mayer here, all right? And then on the other shoe, we've got Amma Mayer logo, Jordan on that tongue. And then on the back, you've got Michael Jordan's signature, which is here. So they just, you know, really gave it, again, the, the traditional Amma Mayer luxury finishes, touches, and detailing. Um, inside the collar, you got this blue material that has A's all over it. So that, uh, you know, they put their signature stamp touches on everything. But one more detail I want to point out real quick is the insoles on these, right? They went and gave us, now this is a Dream Cell insole, so it's not super thick and super plush. But it's nice, but it is like a satin finish kind of lining. And they actually embroidered the Nike Air on the insole. So this isn't something that's just going to rub off. I mean, this is stitched in front to back. <laughs> Pretty dope. So they, you know, of course, I'm on my ear with uh, the attention to detail, man. That's what they do. It's what they do. And I did want to pull out, well, before we get into that, yeah, again, the, the upper itself. Now, in the camera, does this look white? Does that look white to you or does that look, can you see a slight haze color to that? Because again, looking at it, it is definitely like a light, light, light gray. Because I guess, you know, dawn is not quite midday. It's the beginning, like the early morning. So look at me getting philosophical. So this is the very beginning of the day. And then again, at dusk, you're getting dark, right? So that's why you got the black pair. Um, you got the clear air bubble on the side. So no I'm a my year on that. We know in the dust pair that does have my year written across it. Um, let's see, anything else we miss it here? The lace eyelets and everything is just your standard Air Jordan 5. Actually, I take that back on my Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. That's more like a plastic, where this is all leather, all right, all the way up. And again, that tongue has been shortened. All right, and then how do I know that? Let's take a look, compare it to the OG Fire Red, right? Big difference. Look how tall that tongue is. Now, this is the Fire Reds from 20, these might be 2012 or 20. Is, this was produced in 2012. So this is, man, this is an 11-year-old pair. And again, you know, super clean still. And this leather is really, really thick, really, really sturdy. Um, it creased some, but it's not much, right? And these have been worn, you know, multiple times. I don't beat them to death, of course, but uh, definitely worn. And this material, again, the leather is really thick. This leather is very thin. So from crease standpoint, I mean, these are going to crease immediately. But again, I think it's, you know, it's, you're getting that soft, supple, like fancy leather, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Like from a thickness standpoint, they didn't go like with the thick, hard leather like this. That cut is super thick. So, you know, maybe crease protectors in there if you really want, if you care about that. Or if you don't, just rock with it. Um, but yeah, look at the difference in 
the tongue. I mean, this is like a little brother and a big brother, right? This tongue is huge, huge and padded. Can y'all see that? See that well? Huge tongue, padded tongue. Uh, and then the same with the around the collars. You wanna see the difference there. All of those big padded collar parts. Where the tongue is like, you know, six foot tall. This one is definitely not. So that's it, man. As far as the shoe itself, you know, I was excited to get these. When they initially came out, I was like, well, I'm not big on the white pair, or we thought it was white. Not big on the white pair, let me get that black pair because I love metallic fives. Um, but yeah, those, but when they came out, when they dropped, they did the raffles and everything else. It was like, well, it'd be nice to have both. So, you know, thank goodness we were able to get our hands, well, they would have hit on both. Got our hands on one so far. Fingers crossed the second pair drops, it comes in. Uh, I'll get that shipping confirmation soon. As soon as I get it, I will drop a review, let y'all know what we think. Um, as far as what I think on these, I think it's a, it's a fire pair. I mean, this is different than the colors we've had in the past, right? I mean, it's it's rings rings of OG, but we know it's a collab, but it doesn't just stick out like, you know, this is, they haven't just refinished everything and made it look crazy. Um, the color is solid, very wearable. I give this a like a nine out of ten. I mean, this is yeah from a five. These are definitely better than a lot of the five that I've seen drop recently. Um, like the UNC fives are cool, but just an overall, you know, UNC blue shoe like all the way top to bottom. Wasn't humongously super excited for those. Um, what else? What other fives have dropped that have been great? Y'all, let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite five? Um, is it just the OG, you know, fire reds or metallics? Anything different? Let me know down in the comments. I was all right, y'all. So with the help of basically movie magic, you know, I've actually taken these out today since the beginning of this recording to now wrapping up the recording um, and wore these. So love them, comfortable, true to size on foot. I will say that the yellow sole, having worn them for a few hours, I mean, they get dirty pretty easily, depending on where you're going. Um, I, I wiped these down a little bit too since I've been back. But I wanted to just let y'all know that if you're going to rock these fives, you may want to get you some sole protectors to keep them pristine. You know, that yellow, I don't know about y'all, but I like my soles to stay, stay intact, especially when they're like a special outsole. Like most of this is black, white, whatever, like I mean, whatever typical regular outsole, I don't really care that much. But something like this that has, you know, logos underneath and it's just a special treatment, that yellow age vintage. I don't want this to get black, right? I want it to stay yellow. So you may want to invest, get you some drip grip sole protectors. You can use my code. There's a sale going on right now through Cyber Monday. Um, that's 30% off. So real C30, I'll throw that up here for you guys. Hit them up, use my code and hook up your soles, man. Because I don't know, this is, these were icy blue back in 2012. And now, well, icy white blue, whatever. But now they look like almost like these right and this is years of un not protecting that soul but again these aren't worn to death either but uh that's just me just trying to give you a little helpful hit i miss i'll see you on the next one stay tuned also go back check out the other video that i said take it easy see you on the next peace